All right, we're filming the palpation, palpation points for the uh, um, hip, thigh, and pelvis. So we'll start with the bony palpations. So anteriorly, we've got the femur. So that's going to be the big bone that's right here. Um, we're going to have the iliac crest. So that's what you think of when you have your hands on your hips. So that's going to be right around this area here. And then connected to that's going to be the ASIS, which is going to be right where my finger is right there. Um, uh, the going to the lateral portion, we've got the greater trochanter. That's going to be the lateral portion, the bony portion that sticks out on the side. So it's going to be right around there. Um, going to the posterior portion, will you uh, flip around for me? We got the PSIS, which is going to be like, I'm going to lift your shirt up a little bit. I'm going to, which is going to be like little back dimples that's right there. Um, uh, we got the ischial tuberosity that it'll be, it's a little bit easier if she's flexing her hip, but it's going to be right under here. Yeah, will you flex your hip? It's going to be right under there. Uh, it's the bottom of the butt muscle. Or it's going to be at the bottom of the butt. It's when you do, it's you use it when you're adjusting hips. Um, and then the coccyx is going to be right in the middle there. You can't feel it, but it's going to be a little bony protuberance that's going to be in the middle there. Um, and then the sacrum spinal process is going to be if you put the, if you find the PSIS and bring them together, that's going to be the sacral spinal process right there. Um, and then the medial is going to be the pubic symphysis, which I'm not going to, um, opposite sex, we're gonna, I'm not going to do it, but it's going to be right down in the middle there, right around that coccyx area, but a little bit more anterior. Um, moving to the uh, soft tissue, Hannah, will you flip around for me again? So we're, you can sit down if you want. We're going to do the anterior portion first. So we're going to have the hip flexors, which is going to be right around this area here. Um, the inguinal ligament is going to run from the ASIS to the pubic symphysis. So you can find the ASIS and then the pubic symphysis, and you can just you know it's going to run right around that, right along that line there. And then the femoral artery is going to be right along that, in the middle of that there. So it's going to be right around there. That's an important one for if you have to um, uh, do any kind of tourniquets or anything. Um, gluteal musculature, will you turn to the side for me? So the um, gluteus medius is going to be right along the middle here. It's going to be, uh, it connects from the um, iliac crest to the greater trochanter. So it's going to be right around, right along right there. The um, gluteus maximus is going to be the back part. It's going to be um, the bigger part of the gluteal musculature. And then the tensor fascia latte, I always think of it as the pocket muscle. So that's going to be right where your pocket would be. So right around there. Um, Hannah, will you turn around and face the TV for me? So you're, again, you're gonna have the gluteal musculature here. You're gonna have your hamstrings right here. You're gonna have your sciatic nerve, which is between the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity. So it's gonna be right along right there. Um, you'll have the, and then you'll have the ischial bursa, which is gonna be right along the ischial tuberosity right there. Um, and then Hannah, will you turn around for me again? Last one, medial is gonna be the groin of the adductors, which is gonna be a little bit more medial to the hip flexors.